In this video, we're going to talk about the signs of trigonometric function in different quadrants. So in first quadrant, all trig functions are positive. In second quadrant, sine and cosecant are positive and all the other trig functions are negative. Similarly, in third quadrant, tan or cot are positive and in fourth, cos and secant are positive. We will discuss that how these trigonometric functions are positive in second, third, and fourth quadrant, and all the trig functions except those are negative. But why? Let's uh, take a triangle in the first quadrant. So in the first quadrant, because we have positive x-axis and positive y-axis, so by Pythagoras theorem, uh, the value of the hypotenuse would be r square equals x square plus y square, and r would be x square plus y square under root. That is positive. Due to x square and y square, the value of r would be always positive in any quadrant. Now, this is a Tri right angle triangle. If you would take any trig functions like sine of theta, that is pH perpendicular or hypotenuse, y over r, that is positive because y is positive and r as well as positive. So sine theta would be positive. Let's tan theta. What is tan theta? It's perpendicular over base, y over r, y over x. And because y is positive and x is positive, so tan would be positive. Similarly, we can check all the trig functions in this way. So we would get all the trig functions positive in first quadrant. Let's take another triangle in the second quadrant. Because in the second quadrant, x x is negative and y is positive. So you can take x negative and y positive and R would be positive because negative X whole square is positive. Okay, let's take sine of theta. Sine of theta is pH perpendicular over hypotenuse. That would be Y over R. Because Y is positive, R is positive, so sine would be positive. Okay, let's take, let's take uh, secant theta. Secant theta, what is secant theta? Second theta is a reciprocal of cos. What is cos theta? Cos theta equals BH, base over hypotenuse. That is, base is negative x over r. So we are getting negative value. Also, the second theta would be negative r over x. So cos and secant, we are getting negative. But sine and cosecant would be positive due to positive y and r. Hope it makes sense that y in second quadrant sine and cosecant positive and all the trig functions are negative. Similarly, pause the video and take a triangle in the third quadrant. In the third quadrant, the uh, value of the x-axis would be negative as well as y would be negative and r would be positive whether tan and cot are positive in third and all the other trig functions are negative let's take an example we have sometimes what the value of one trigonometric function is given and we need to figure out all the other trig functions so how can we figure out such type of problems Let's say we have given cos theta and we need to figure out all the other trig functions. It's a pretty simple. Okay, so cos theta is given that is 12 over 13. And we have to figure out sine, second, tan, cot, and all the other five trig functions. So first of all, you have to set up the triangle. And then you have to complete the triangle using Pythagoras theorem. 
and after that you would be able to figure out all trigonometric function but there is a very important point it is also given in the question that cos theta is 12 over 13 and the terminal side of the angle terminal side of the angle is in is not in the first quadrant terminal arm of the angle is not in the first quadrant so before we figure out the, the this practice question we would have to check that where terminal arm of the angle would lie okay how can we check that it's given that cos theta is 12 over 13 that is positive cos theta is positive it's given and we need to check that where cause is positive. Cause is positive in first and fourth quadrant. And it's given in the question that terminal arm of the angle is not in the first quadrant. So obviously it would be in the fourth quadrant. So theta lies in fourth quadrant. We have to note it down. Okay. So we would. Uh, figure out all the trig functions according to fourth quadrant. Now, set up the triangle. It's given that cos theta is 12 over 13. So, because cos is base over hypotenuse, so you have to write base is 12 and hypotenuse 13. And according to Pythagoras theorem, you know that c square equals a square plus b square. And b square would be c square negative a square. That means 13 square negative. 12 square b square so it would be 169 minus 144 and you would get b square equals 25 and b equals 5 okay the triangle is completed okay now we can easily figure out all the trig functions let's take sine of theta your sine of theta is ph perpendicular over hypotenuse perpendicular over hypotenuse because we have to take the trigonometric function according to the fourth quadrant and in the fourth quadrant only cause and secant are positive and all trig function other than cause and secant are negative so sine would be negative and its reciprocal is cosecant theta obviously it would be negative negative 13 over 5. okay the other like tan of theta tan of theta is P, H, B, H, P, B perpendicular over, over base. That is perpendicular over base. It would be negative because tan and cot are also negative in the fourth quadrant. So cot theta would be the reciprocal of tan theta. The negative 12 over 5. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, and one more left. That is secant theta. Secant theta is the reciprocal of cos theta. That would be 13 over 12. It would be positive because cos and secant are positive in the fourth quadrant. Hope it makes sense. So pause the video and try to figure out the question. Let's say we have sine of theta equals negative one over under two and the terminal arm of the angle is not not in third quadrant it's not in third quadrant okay question is sine theta equals negative one over under two and terminal arm of the angle is not in third quadrant find out all the trig functions except sine theta pause the video set up the triangle and figure out the quadrant for the terminal arm and after that you would be able to find out all the trig functions hope it would be helpful